Did you know that men can continue to reproduce well into their 80s and beyond? Surprised? Well, buckle up because we're about to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of aging and the male reproductive system. Now, when we talk about aging, it's like opening a Pandora's box. It's a complex process, affecting every part of our bodies in ways that are often unexpected. From the wrinkles that grace our faces, the silver strands that creep into our hair, to the creaking joints that remind us of every passing year. Age weaves its narrative into the fabric of our existence. Yet, in the midst of all these changes, there lies a surprise. A glimmer of hope, if you will, for the gentlemen out there. A fact that defies the usual narrative of decline and deterioration. And that, my friends, is the remarkable resilience of the male reproductive system. While many parts of the body start to slow down and show signs of wear and tear, the male reproductive system marches on, defying the odds. It's like that one guest at the party who, despite the music winding down and the lights coming on, is still ready to dance the night away. In fact, it's not uncommon for men to father children in their 80s, 90s, even beyond. A testament to the enduring power of the male reproductive system. It's a fact that often leaves people astounded debunking the assumption that aging puts a definitive end to one's ability to reproduce. But like any good story, there's always another side. Yes, men can continue to reproduce as they age, but it's not always as simple as it seems. It's not just about the ability to father a child, but also the quality of the genetic material being passed on, the energy to raise a child and a host of other factors. So if you thought that age was a barrier to fatherhood, think again. But is it all sunshine and rainbows? Stick around to find out. So, we've established that men can continue fathering children into their twilight years. But does that mean they should? Now that's a question to ponder. Let's delve into the ups and downs of this late fatherhood business, shall we? On one hand, there are the potential risks. As men age, their swimmers, or sperm if we're being scientific, can also age. This could lead to an increased chance of genetic disorders in their offspring. Think of it as a vintage car. It might still run, but it's not as efficient as the newer models. However, it's not all doom and gloom. These risks are relatively low and can be managed with regular health checkups and staying in good shape. Remember, age is just a number, but health is a lifestyle. On the flip side, there are some definite perks to being an older dad. One of the biggest ones is financial stability. By the time you're in your 40s or 50s, you're likely to be more settled in your career. This could mean a more comfortable life for your little ones. And let's not forget emotional maturity. With age comes wisdom, or so they say. Older dads might have a better handle on their emotions and be more patient. This could lead to a more nurturing environment for the child. But here's an interesting twist. Some studies suggest that children of older dads tend to have higher IQs. Is it because of the stimulating conversations at the dinner table or the endless rounds of chess on Sunday afternoons? Who knows? But it's a point in favor of late fatherhood. So, what's the verdict? Well, like anything in life, late fatherhood comes with its own set of challenges and rewards. It's not a one-size-fits-all situation. It depends on the individual, their health, their circumstances, and ultimately, their choice. It's clear that late fatherhood is a mixed bag. But what about the physical changes that come with age? Let's dive in. If you thought wrinkles and gray hair were the only things to worry about as you age, you're in for a surprise. Let's talk about the physical realities of aging and how it affects the male reproductive system. Now don't worry, this won't be some dreary biology lecture. We're here to have a fun, light-hearted chat about the birds, the bees, and the not-so-young men. First off, let's talk testosterone. This hormone, the fuel behind your teenage dreams and youthful vigor, tends to decrease as you age. It's like a car running low on gas. The engine might not roar as loud, but it can still get you from point A to point B. So, while you might not be bench pressing your body weight or chasing after every skirt anymore, you've still got plenty of juice left for the things that matter. Next on our list is the infamous erectile dysfunction. Picture this. You're all set for a romantic night, the candles are lit, the mood music is playing, and then nothing. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. 
It's just your body's way of telling you it's time to slow down and enjoy the finer things in life, like a good book or a fine wine. And remember, there are plenty of treatments available, so it's not the end of the world or your love life. Last but not least, let's talk about the prostate. This little walnut-sized gland can cause big problems as you age. The good news is, it's not a death sentence. Regular checkups and a healthy lifestyle can keep you and your prostate happy and healthy. All these changes might seem daunting, but remember, aging is just a part of life. It's like going from a hot-blooded stallion to a wise old owl. There might be a few more creaks and groans, but with age comes wisdom, experience, and a whole lot of great stories to tell. So, while you might be sprouting more hair in your ears than on your head, that doesn't mean you can't still be a stud in the bedroom. So, there you have it folks. Aging and the male reproductive system is a fascinating, albeit slightly terrifying journey. It's like a roller coaster ride with thrilling highs and some unexpected lows. We've talked about the surprise of aging, the ups and downs, and the physical reality that comes with it. All of these aspects are part of the grand spectacle that is the human body, a marvel of nature that continues to amaze us, even as it changes and adapts over time. Aging is inevitable, and it's something that every man will experience. But remember, it doesn't have to be a downhill slide. It's all in how we choose to navigate the journey. The key is understanding what happens to our bodies as we age and being proactive about our health. Regular health checks are crucial. They're like the checkpoints in a video game, giving you the chance to assess your health, identify any potential issues, and take action before they become more serious. Ignorance may be bliss, but when it comes to your health, knowledge is power. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is equally important. It's like the fuel that keeps your engine running smoothly. A balanced diet, regular exercise, sufficient sleep, and stress management are all essential components. And let's not forget about the importance of staying mentally active. After all, the brain is the largest sex organ. Remember that aging is not a disease, but a natural part of life. It's a journey to be embraced, not feared. It's not about trying to stop the clock, but about making the most of the time we have. Every stage of life has its own unique challenges and rewards. Aging is no exception. It's a time of wisdom, experience, and hopefully a bit more leisure. So keep living life to the fullest, savor every moment, and don't be afraid to laugh at the absurdities that come with getting older. And remember, age is just a number, so keep living, loving and laughing, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fun and informative videos. Until next time, cheers.